when I get to the long runs and I want to call an Uber, I say, would Martin call an Uber right now or do you keep going? When I remember Martin, it's usually when I'm running. I feel him with me. I just think about what kind of person he would be now, and it just pushes me forward. Ten years ago, before the annual 8K fundraisers in his name, before the building at a Massachusetts university and the statue, Martin Richard was an eight-year-old boy. Martin was just a big smiling personality who, who brought people together that, I, you know, people were drawn to him. This little joyful, energetic, wild spirit who just had so much energy, he didn't know what to do with it. In the tightly knit Boston neighborhood of Dorchester, Martin and his best friends all lived less than five minutes away from one another. Martin's on the left, I was with my football, and then my birthday in 2011, that's after the Bruins won the Stanley Cup, we made our own trophy. Ava's holding up the one, and then the kid in the blue shirt, that's Martin. We were kind of always together playing sports. We would just make teams, play, and then hope for the best. There would always be trash talking, always chirping each other after. You could tell he was like the nicest kid in the room. Even though how competitive he was, he'd always be like, oh, like, make sure everyone else is playing. That was what really stuck out to me. Hockey, baseball. Martin loved playing them all. And he loved to run. Martin and his older brother Henry and younger sister Jane were coached by Tiffany Spearman. He was very tenacious. It was crazy that this seven and a half year old at the time was beating nine year olds and challenging them. I remember as an eight year old, it was his dream to run the Boston Marathon. Me and my friends would always joke about um, running it when we turned 18 and Martin was always in. Like so many in the city and its surrounding towns, the Richard family, parents Bill and Denise, along with Henry, Jane, and Martin, would gather for the race. Everyone goes and watches. I can't remember a year where I didn't go and watch the Boston Marathon with my family just for fun. In 2013, around mid-afternoon on a chilly April 15th, the family found a spot on Boylston Street near the finish line. Their coach, Tiffany Spearman, was running. I get near Fenway Park, and I decided, hey, you only have like a mile and a quarter left. Like, let's just finish this race. By now, it was a quarter to three. Martin had climbed on the railing to get a closer look and I take a right onto Hereford, and I hear bang. Double explosions at the Boston Marathon today. Spectators, fans, runners, friends and family lining the streets. Several injuries, details are hard to come by right now. My phone rang and it was Bill. He asked me, are you okay? And I said, yes, I'm okay. Are you okay? And he said, no. We got dealt a really crappy hand. Jane lost her leg. Denise lost vision in her eye. I can barely hear you. And um, I mean, we lost Martin. Who told you? Uh, my dad told me. What do you remember him saying? I just remember him saying, like, <sighs> I'm sorry. I just remember pretty much burying my face in my mom and crying about it for a pretty long time. You don't really know as like an eight year old kid, like you have no idea about the concept of death. And then it kind of just, you have to understand it and accept it. 
Oh, he's gone. Two bombs, 14 seconds apart, had exploded near the finish line. 264 were hurt in the Boston Marathon bombings. 17 lost a limb. Three people were killed. The youngest to die was eight-year-old Martin Richard. Everyone always says, geez, I don't understand. I, could, I can't, can't imagine. And I always say, that's fine. You shouldn't understand. You shouldn't have to imagine it. Nobody should have to imagine it. Amid candlelight vigils and Boston Strong, this photograph of Martin would linger in the minds of those who saw it. Those words, no more hurting people, peace, had become part of Martin's legacy. He meant what he said in those words. I just remember a kid full of, full of life who, uh, who loved everything about his community and his family and just being a kid. To comprehend that Boston sees him as their son is, is overwhelming to think about, but it's heartwarming to know that he could mean that much to so many people. Today is undeniable proof that good will always triumph. 2017 would bring the dedication of Martin's Park, an all-access playground in Boston, part of Denise and Bill Richards' tireless work with the Martin Richard Foundation. It was just so public, but as time went on and, and we realized what he meant to people, and um, it's, we gave him to the world, but it was healing for us too. Bill would watch the kids from Dorchester getting to do what Martin might have done. You see his friends going through these milestones and you see him and you hug him and you smile. And then you, you, then you go home that afternoon and you cry just because you just, you know what you're missing. Then, nine years after that day on Boylston Street, Henry Richard, by now a college student in New York, imagined how he could honor his brother Martin. I was like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, so let's start training. <laughs> Henry had decided to run the Boston Marathon, just like he and Martin had dreamed of doing together all those years ago. And on April 18th, 2022, he did just that. For 26 miles, hearing people shout my name and shout my brother's name was pretty incredible. I did stop at the memorial about halfway down Boylston Street and took a moment there. And then I saw my parents and sister at the finish line. Seeing him finish was just an awesome moment. The emotion at the end was just palpable. I know if he was here, he would have been doing it with me, so I just, that's all I could think about. That's... Can anyone understand what that feels like who hasn't gone through what you've gone through? I would say, I would say, yeah. And I'm running with them this year. For in this, the first year that Martin Richard would have been 18 and eligible to run, his Dorchester friends will take on the Boston Marathon in his memory. We were gonna run the marathon together. It became our dream for him, you know? I'm sure he'd be right beside us. And I'm sure he'd run it a lot faster than me too. I'll be one of them. Wearing his name on my back is going to be super special. Nolan Cleary, Ava O'Brien, and Jack Burke. Running for Martin. I'm really happy for them, for these kids to come together and be part of something bigger than themselves. 
I'm gonna probably cry my eyes out. He's forever eight years old. So to imagine him as an 18-year-old young man running the marathon with his friends, it's fantastic. When I see a lot of kindness in the world, I think I go like, that's what he stood for. I can see him in the good things.